Hey, what's up, everybody? True Boxing here. Thank you for coming back to get hit with the truth. So today we are doing the 2023 top 10s as we're going to look at my number two super middleweight in the world right now at 168 pounds, the former two-time WBC champion and current WBC interim super middleweight champion and undefeated David Benavides. Now, before we get into that, if you could smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel, I really do appreciate any and all support that I can get as I continue to build my channel here. So Benavidez uh, stays number two. He entered the year at number two. He's 28 years old now. And in my opinion, he had the type of year that he has fully earned the Canelo fight now. I absolutely firmly believe that. Excuse me. Um, he started off in March when he took on Caleb Plant. Um, defended the, the interim title successfully against Plant. It was a, it was a competitive fight, the first half, half of the fight. Second half, Benavides took over, beat up Plant, and scored a 12-round unanimous decision to stay undefeated. Then in November, he took on undefeated former two-division world champion Demetrius Andre in um, a fight of two guys that have been calling out Canelo for the last uh, couple years, few years. And really, they had this was a clash of two fighters that Canelo told, hey, you guys go fight each other. You know, and, and then we'll talk after that. And uh, Andre was confident. Benavidez was confident. Benavidez, uh, Andre was competitive for maybe the first, second round. After that, Benavidez was just just a bully in there. His size, the size difference and um, his style, his youth really spoke volumes in this fight. And he just broke down Demetrius Andre, beat him up. And the fight was stopped after sixth as uh, David Benavidez retained his interim title and lock down what is supposed to be the Canelo fight. So heading into 2024, I mean, it's, it really has to be Canelo. He's got to get the Canelo fight. And this is a coming from a Canelo fan. I am a Canelo fan. You guys know that. And, um, uh, I just like Canelo's. I like his style. I like his work rate. Um, I like the, his resume, the guys that he's fought in the past. He's fought good, solid fighters, the top of the, his division, every time out but or most of the time but i fully believe david benavidez has earned this fight with canelo finally he did he he beat two legitimate ass fighters to where there's no question anymore you know before it was like well you know i i really believed i'm like i would like to see the fight but i don't feel i didn't feel benavidez was a guy that canelo had to fight even though i would have liked to have seen it now I feel like Canelo has to fight him. He has to fight him. No questions asked. These guys have to fight in 2024. I know a lot of Benavides fans are upset when I say, oh, well, as long as the fight happens in 2024, why not have a setup fight first? I would prefer Canelo to fight Benavides next. That's my preference. But I'm a realist, and that's not what Canelo wants to do. He wants to take a softer touch opponent and set up the fight for September. Um... You know, I've been criticized. Oh, well, you know, you should be promoting this and you should be doing that. One, nobody tells me what I should be fucking doing on my own channel. Nobody tells me that. And two, um, the reason why I have so many subscribers, why I have almost a thousand subscribers is because I keep it real and, and, and keep it honest. My opinion, but also my opinion is based on the facts and reality. That's, that's what I preach. It's not about just my biased opinion because i know guys that they're just biased to this person or that person or they're just biased to mexican fighters or they're just biased to black fighters i, I keep it real all the way down the middle all the way down the middle and a lot of people don't like that they don't that they, they they feel like i need to have to choose a side well my side is the facts my side is the truth and that doesn't mean you're gonna like the facts and like the truth and to be honest i don't like that canelo's not gonna fight benavidez in may i see a ton of uh, benefits from Canelo fighting Benavidez in May, like eight months off and a lot of time to prepare for Benavidez, you know? Um, but this is the way Canelo wants to do it. And that's just a fact. So I can't sit here and tell lies and say shit that's not true, you know, or just because a certain person or certain people want to hear it. That's, I'm sorry. That's just not what I do. I'm not out here to satisfy one person or just the Benavidez fans um, and all that stuff. That's, I mean, I'm out here to get, get the facts, true boxing. It's about the truth and it's fact based. My opinion is a fact 
fact-based opinion. So I base all the collective, uh, you know, facts about every situation, every fighter, and I pour it into, and I take my opinion and I pour it in, you know, and that's how I come to my conclusions. That's how, and, and again, most of the time I come from an independent stand, stance, down the middle, because that's what reporters are supposed to do. You know, I'm doing this because this is a lifelong dream of something I always wanted to do. And that reporters are supposed to be unbiased. And that's what I am. So I'm just keeping it real. And um, and that's that's what I'm doing here. So Benavidez, what does he do if he doesn't get Canelo in, in May? Um, which he likely won't. I think there's plenty of options. I wouldn't take the risk and fight David Morrell. David Morrell's dangerous. And I don't think Benavidez should take a dangerous fight. He should do what Canelo's doing. Take a fight that he's 150% confident he can win. David Morrell's going to be a hog. And that's a fight that I'm not sure Benavidez wins that one. I mean, I, 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 I do believe he wins, but I do believe Morrell poses a serious threat. And I don't think Benavidez should take it. So why not Charlo? If, if Canelo decides on Munguia, why not Benavidez fight Charlo? But if Canelo decides on... Charlo, why not fight Munguia? Why not fight Vladimir Shishkin? He's with the PBC. Um, I think somebody on that level that's a PBC fighter is who Benavidez should fight next um, if he doesn't get the Canelo fight in May. But either way, I believe that he's going to get Canelo in September. And, I, you know, personally, I think he's got a serious chance. I do. Um, I would pick against him right now, just, just basing it on the facts, the styles, um, all that stuff throwing it all together but i do think he's got a solid chance of winning he's a big guy and i'm really looking forward to seeing what he does in 2024 and if he gets the canelo fight and if canelo does not fight him then i am full on board i don't care if i'm a canelo fan or not i am full on board that canelo is ducking him you heard it here i'm saying it now i've said it before it amazes me that people don't hear hear me when i talk it makes me laugh but whatever it is what it is and that's it. That's what I got. So that's my 2023 top 10s on my number two super middleweight in the world right now at 168 pounds. The undefeated WBC interim super middleweight champion, David Benavidez. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, smash the like button, leave a comment, or subscribe to the channel. I appreciate any and all support. This is True Boxing. You've been hit with the truth.